What's up you guys? Today we're gonna talk about a very important fashion accessory, the belt. I think this past year I've spent the most time and effort in curating a really solid belt collection for myself. I've got some really good designer high-end picks that I think are worth the investment, but also some affordable ones that I think are really great staples too. So I'm gonna show you guys the collection that I curated this past year. But the belt is so important, not only for utility reasons, for cinching the waist, keeping your pants up, but also it creates such a beautiful focus point for your outfit. It's kind of like the cherry on top to your outfit and just to take your outfit from boring to really elevated and sophisticated. So I'm going to show you guys the varieties that I have that I think would create a really well-rounded foundation for your belt collection. And as always, I got all the details down below in the description box in case you guys want to check that out. I love you guys so much and on that note, let's get started. Okay, starting off with our first category of belts, this is the skinny belt. It's probably my most favorite for anyone that likes a very subtle look with your belt and something that's not too distracting or if you're petite or with a short waist like me I really prefer a skinny belt just so that it doesn't eat up so much of that midsection also proportionate wise you don't want something too chunky or bulky it also looks really delicate with like dresses and like sweater dresses the three that I have here I bought specifically so I can have all my bases covered so I have like a matte brown leather I have a matte black faux leather and then I have a patent leather which is really great in case you're wearing like an all black outfit you want something that kind of contrasts but without taking away from the all black ensemble okay so the first skinny belt I have is the brown one and this one is from Lueve this is their signature L initial brass hardware skinny belt I got this one on my trip in Portugal at the Lueve store I've been eyeing this belt for a while and my girlfriend Allison Haley and she has several of these belts and highly recommended this one for me because I'm Miss Louie I love anything with an L anyway so this one really just spoke to me in terms of like a personal Personal monogram but what I really like about this belt is it actually has a super long tail on it this is the 70 centimeters which is typically what I like to go for but I actually had them add extra holes in the store for me so that it perfectly cinches at the waist but you have plenty of customization here so that you can wear it as a hip belt or if you have fluctuations in your weight you have a lot of comfortable room here this brown one actually has more of a casual touch to it I might buy one to round this collection out that doesn't have the contrast stitching but as you can see here it has cream contrast threading on the edges which gives it a more casual touch but of course the gold shiny hardware with that beautiful signature like cursive L is so beautiful you have a belt loop here to secure everything and that is tethered to the actual backing so there isn't an extra belt loop to secure this back tail to the belt regardless the way that it curves it secures really nice and seamlessly so I love this one this one I believe is all leather. This is my go-to brown one for the skinny belt. The next one I'm going to show you is a Walmart one. Actually, this is a really great affordable Bottega Veneta dupe. This one is really cool because it has a very similar triangle brass clasp, but this is faux leather. It's black. It's matte. You really can't tell if it's leather or not. If you're not into the splurge, you definitely don't have to. It gets the same visual effect. This one is very similar to the Loewe in the sense that it has a very long tail. You have tons of holes for customizing the circumference and I really love how minimal it is you know it's not logo mania it's very minimal it's very modern but the triangle has a nice graphic touch to it versus the typical like circle or square so I really love this one this one is from scoop from Walmart and I believe I got it for like 15 bucks you guys oh so good okay and then the last one I just unboxed this one I found in Italy at the Naples store at my Gucci haul that one's coming really soon by the way but they didn't have my size in store so I got home and I bought it online. By the way, the Gucci.com has really good service in case you guys are interested in buying Gucci online. But anyway, I really like this one because I was looking for a patent finish skinny belt option. Of course, I love anything gold. It's like my signature metal. And this one has that nice, crisp, shiny, rounded dome patent finish with matching black stitching. So it's really minimal. And then you have that classic double G hardware for the belt. This one has double belt loops to secure it because it's patent leather it's like extra thick and it can flare out a lot so I do appreciate that there's extra security to keep the tail closed and secure and then this is something I would definitely break out for the fall to winter season when you want a little bit of extra glitz and glam and just the patent leather and the shiny leather 
are really like reminiscent of the winter season. So these were the skinny belts. In terms of the sizing, they all range around like the half an inch mark. I believe the Loewe is like three fifths of an inch. The Gucci is right at half an inch. And then this sits right at below half an inch, like 0.4 inches. So again, that's kind of the range that I'm looking for when I'm referring to like the skinny belt size. Okay, so next category, we're gonna go to like the more medium size belts. I feel like this is the perfect run of the mill down in the center belt width that would be really great universally. The belt range size I'm talking about is about like three quarters or a one inch size. Not too thick, not too thin, enough to be very visible and make a statement, but has a wide variety of uses in terms of body shapes and sizes and also versatility. So for the more affordable option, this one isn't super affordable, like under $20 like the Walmart one, but it's still under $50. I think that if you got these two, you still have your bases covered. This is the Nordstrom Metal Keeper Belt. It's the perfect three quarters of an inch thickness with a one inch by one inch belt buckle. What I really like about this belt is that it's really sophisticated. It has a nice squared off hardware. It's nice and thick in terms of like the sturdiness. It isn't real leather, so it's not as pliable and soft, but for the look, it's amazing, especially for the price. They have two different combos. I have the black with the silver and then the brown with the gold. And again, it's just so minimal enough to match with all of your things. And honestly, it looks very designer because it is so sleek and minimal that you're not sacrificing on style at all. So the Nordstrom Metal Keeper belt's always and forever like a really great option to look at for under 50 bucks. Then moving up the price stack, these two are some of my favorite purchases of the year. If you guys have heard of the brand Edited Pieces, it's a brand by Jean Wang, super famous blogger, absolutely love her. And this is her brand. These are the Edited Pieces horse bit reversible belt. In terms of functionality, like you cannot beat these belts. These are made out of leather. They're really high quality, nice and pliable. The thickness is that nice, strong one inch thickness. So again, it's just like a really nice like statement without it being overwhelming. And then again, the versatility is amazing because you can plop these hardware pieces out and you can intermix the metals with the color. So you can get like the full range of all the color combinations you need to perfectly accent your outfit. You have some here like the ivory and the ecru that has more of the crinkled pebble leather but then the black here is more smooth so she really picked the perfect finish for the actual hue. Absolutely love these. The horse bit is so elegant and it has a nice modern traditional mix and it looks like high-end designer and it's made like a designer belt so definitely love these always and forever and I just feel so good to support Jean because I absolutely love her work. And then for my designer options, these are just under an inch. These are more like 0.8 or three quarters of an inch. I bought both of these this year. The first one that I love that I've been wearing a lot is from Saint Laurent. On the actual Saint Laurent site, it's called the Cassandra Thin Belt, but on Nordstrom, they call it something more generic, but I'll link it for you guys down below. I love this belt because it is so classic and timeless. The leather is so buttery and scrumptious. It's a very lightweight belt. I love the squared off gold buckle and then the delicate Yves Saint Laurent classic monogram hardware for the belt loop. It's just the perfect accent to any outfit. It's really sophisticated. I'm a big Saint Laurent fan, so I was really digging this belt. And then for something a little bit more kitsch, this one was so cool. I got sucker hard by those Gucci salespeople in Italy, but I love this one because again, the reversibility is so cool and functional. This is the Gucci reversible belt. This one is the white and the narrow mix. And what I really love is that it's reversible by the hardware. So literally, this is like a swivel top belt buckle. So you can have it here for the ivory or then you can flip it back for the black. It comes with two belt loop holders, one that matches each color. So girl, don't lose it because that's how you secure the strap onto it. This is very classic Gucci, that 70s, more glitzy glam vibe. You can definitely feel the heft in the hardware for this one. So I really like the fact that it is that like right below the one inch thickness. This one was really cool. And then the salesperson also showed me another way to style it by loosening up the belt loops and having it more like a low slung belt that feels a little bit more casual and 
street style. So it doesn't have to be totally polished and like tucked. You can wear it a little bit loose and really kind of like accentuate the curves like, like a 70s look, which is really cool. And then last but not least, in case you guys do want something more statement, this is an old belt that I've had for a couple years now. I love this one, but honestly, because my style is turning in a little bit more older and sophisticated, that's not true. I still wear things that are not age appropriate, but in terms of like my personal style, I haven't reached for this one that much, but I did want to show this one. This is the Marmont belt. This is actually a men's belt, but it has that perfect one inch belt height, but the hardware is like two, two and a half inches wide. So definitely a larger focal point. I have a short waist, so I've been preferring things that are a little bit more petite in proportion, but if you guys are looking for something that just ups the factor in terms of the statement maker, this is a classic one that I still have and love and use. All right, you guys, so that does it for my belt collection. I hope you guys liked it. What I try to focus on is skinny and medium versatility in terms of the sizing, but also the colors and finishes, right? We got like creams and we got the ecru, browns and then the blacks so that we have a nice well-rounded variety and you know have all your bases covered depending on whether you're wearing pants or a skirt so i hope you guys liked some of the pieces that i showed you guys today i love to keep it timeless and sophisticated with investment pieces like that and also throwing in some affordable options for you guys to consider too so as always i got all those details for you guys down below with links and sizing if you guys want some more fashion videos like this give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below i love you guys so much and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye